I love everything the film has to offer, but I'm more impressed about the funny, chemical, and creative theme. I'm very impressed to see the final results, which can be judged as boring, not funny, and badly written. A big visual work with beautiful colors that mark the staging, fine and visible. Everything is brilliant, new, and charming. Uh, the staging, the photo, the soundtrack, the sets, the way to film, the narration, and all these well-chosen actors who embody everyday character made exceptional. The scenario seemed silly to some. For me, it's an odd to to get it. Full of creative and poetry, and there is the breath. Cinematography is an important aspect for every film. As I read in chapter 6 of the epoch, it is mentioned there that cinematography might seem to, to exist slowly to please our eyes with beautiful images. It's in fact intricate language that contribute to overall meaning. This aspect related perfectly to this film. I feel that at first, the presentation through the cinematography of the character is very funny and enjoyable. Their description and what they do absolutely comical. The colors are fantastic, they give the character an air of fantasy. The soundtrack is excellent, the music, the music accompanies very well the events of the film. The actors are also excellent. Georgia is beautiful, but in my opinion, the film is very long. Being one of the best films in the role of Emily, Adri Tattoo wondrously described a sweet and idealistic girl who wants to do good to others through character are very colorful, funny, and sometimes friendly. The director shows the small things of every day. Our defects and our qualities are so personal, and these make us unique, thing, unique beings. Cinematography is used. The colors and sensory of the film look like a Christmas doll. In addition, the soundtrack is very present and really beautiful, a film which makes us wants to take a plan and travel to the landscape depicted. I really feel that it's original and distinct film and funny but a little bit annoying as well. I find the main character too innocent and navy and it bothers me. What I liked the most was how to tell the story and present the character at the beginning of the film because it's curious. In short, I think it's good movie, the best film they had seen and I believe it's a current and simple film. I understand that this is the first French feature film directed by Jean Bear without Mark Carl, with whom he had signed Tonic, Delicatessen and The City of Lost Children. This work was standing level 60s, holder of Four Caesar and nominated to the Oscar for the best foreign film. With the exception of few since the death of Amandine Paulin, the author renaissance the blackness and black humor infused by his former collaborated and distills a universal kindness. Rather than being narrative or experimental, the form of this film is the one where cinematography as in element rules the film as, as usual, Jean Dubois is a seat of technical and visual find, situating it somewhat like Disney. The animation and words of character in a photographic there are the purples of comic strip encrusted on the roof of Paris, suddenly accelerated and lowed by the very pleasant music of Yana Tyrison. This is undoubtedly the best element of the war. The urban universal of Emily is that of an illustrated album for adults. The aspect metro corridors and the wonderful personal agent emerging from every street corner.